Yo, 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 this is your boy Fireworks, and welcome back. This is Snoopers Gonna Snoop YouTube channel. And today we have a first time watching for me. White Gold recommended this. Uh, she had described a little bit about this movie, and I had never seen it. I've seen, uh, I think, 2012, that's what it's called. It's like an apocalypse-style movie. Um, and she said that I should take a look at this if I like that. So uh, this is my first time watching the day after tomorrow all right so uh, when i pulled this up on google i guess it has dennis quaid in it um and jake gyllenhaal he was in spider-man far from home he was mysterio um so i'm really interested to see this came out in the 2000s i've been like on a 2000s trip here lately um so i'm really excited to kind of get into this and see what it's really about uh the little cover had like a frozen statue of liberty which I thought that was crazy. And you can see my background is kind of frozen-esque a little bit. So um, before we get into this, make sure you guys are leaving a thumbs up. Make sure you guys leaving a like. And if you're new here to the channel, make sure you guys hit subscribe, tap the notification bell so when we do a video just like this or I, you all will get it first. And of course, if you're watching this video right now and has been up on the Patreon, if you want to get these videos early, unedited with all the commentary, the link to the Patreon is in the description. And don't forget to follow us on Twitch because what we are not doing here we are going to do it over there, okay? So, again, my first time watching The Day After Tomorrow. Shout out to White Gold. I'm Fireworks, and this is Snoopers Gonna Stoop YouTube channel. We back. I don't know, y'all. It's giving me like some weird vibes already. Like with this music playing, it's kind of like I don't know, setting the tone, I guess. Okay, I'm a title card guy. That wasn't that bad. That just means there's gonna be a lot of film. Yeah, I think I got the hang of it. Better. Don't worry. Girl, where are they at? They're like, it, it looks so cold. Like there's nothing. Like, it looks like they're, like, Antarctica. Like, I don't even see any, like, mountains, glaciers. I was about to say, is that what he wanted to happen? Because that don't look nowhere near where he's at. Bruh. I didn't do anything. Oh, get back up. What the hell? Go. Bro, what's he trying to grab? Woo! <laughs> He's holding out like an ice pick or ice hanger or something like that. God. Yeah, bro, you make me nervous as hell. That's crazy. He got the stuff. Whatever he needed, he needed it. <clears throat> Did his drill do that? Or is it like something else? A cataclysmic climate shift which occurred around 10,000 years ago. I thought you were talking about global warming. Yes, it is. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, was that what was going on is global warming? Heat from the sun arrives at the equator and is carried north by the ocean. Global warming is melting the polar ice caps. Eventually, it will shut down. When do you think this could happen? Okay, so no time soon? Or what happens? It will cost the world's economy hundreds of billions of dollars. The cost of doing nothing could be even higher. A chunk of ice that broke off was about the size of the state of Rhode Island. Damn, he snapped back at him. and hey, That was a big piece of ice. I thought it was just something they were standing on, but again, it was ice. This is crazy. Welcome back. So is this what's going on? Is the climate going to shift? That would be crazy. Actually, if you think about it. Nomad Boy 4311 is showing a temperature drop. 13 degrees. What does that mean? Where's that at? 
It's rough seas out there. Must have knocked it about. I mean, 13 degrees, though? I mean, I feel like anything that drops that much at the time it's not supposed to is a little alerting. Bro, what? Oh! That's big, big. Bro, he might not make it. Bro, you gotta find shelter. Bro, that's crazy. Was that hell, man? That or man? Was it just raining blocks of ice? It looks like what he said is is happening for real. If you ask me. Bruh, see, and a hurricane coming too? This is crazy. Why, for the love of God, would you aggravate the vice president? Kid does not control our budget. It doesn't matter if he hates you. My son, he said, controls the budget. Damn, the vice president. Do you want to hear my side of it? Sam, how can there be two sides? The reason why Mr. Spangler failed me was because I didn't write out the solution. I do them in my head. But he said that if he can't do them in his head, then I must be cheating. Damn, that is... That, okay, I ain't never heard that. I mean, I heard some cruel teachers, but I ain't never heard of that. That's nuts. Sam, I'm sorry. I jumped to conclusions. I'm going to call this guy and have a word with him. Good man. He's a good man. Hey, come take a look at this storm system. It's enormous. Bro, that looks like three, four systems or something. What is the old? Oh, that shot crazy. The plane. Damn, that looked nuts. See, that's why I'm, I ain't never flown, y'all. I'm scared. He's afraid of flying. I'm fine. Yeah, see, he's scared. I'm scared too, bro. I would have. I would be like. <laughs> Yeah, they ain't serving drinks no more. Oh no! <laughs> Bro, what is this? Sam. Oh my god. Oh my God, bro! Sheesh. Can I have my hand back? Can he have his life back? Jesus, his oxygen every day. And then, the, then them shit fall down and scare the hell out of everybody. Y'all can't convince me to fly for nothing. This boy isn't in George's bank. He's just off Greenland. What are the odds of two boys failing? They're not. That's three. Uh oh, y'all. It's it's. I think what what uh, old boy was saying at the speech is is starting to happen. We're only two blocks away. Let's walk. Now see, that's something that would freak me out if I saw it in real life, like birds going all one way. That's how you know something's going wrong. What's going into the are all worked up today? Yeah, even the animals know, man. Yikes. Next question. In Damn, she don't know who she will. Now he got a little competition. What the hell? Hey, you look beautiful. You played a great first round. So did you. Is that what you say in these competitions? Hey, man, you, you, you did a great first round. He walked up on and said, man, you beautiful. Sure, that'd be great. Could you hold this for a second? Yeah, sure. Damn, bro, you just let it go? Come on, you gonna have to do you come on. Uh oh, they in Washington now, so now it's going down in Washington. You recall what you said polar melting might disrupt the North Atlantic current. I think it's happening. You predicted it would happen. So like what is the worst case scenario? Like does it like does the planet Explode or what is like worst case scenario? Predicted yesterday, the swell off her 
work. Bro, where is that at, though? If it's in, like, a climate shift, like, is there going to be, like, tornadoes in New York? Or is New York going to freeze over? Or what the hell going down? Lee Weather Center. It's Tommy. I'm down at the beach. There's, there's hail the size of golf balls coming down. Creating a cyclonic system across the L.A. basin. This is in California? There's a tornado in Cali. That is nuts. Okay, we're now going live to our Fox affiliate in Los Angeles. We have lots of Bro, that's four. What the hell? Oh my God. Lisa, are you getting this on camera? This is great. Oh, it hurt. I wouldn't be surprised. There is so much damage down. And they look strong, too. They look like they're not like puny, puny. Bro, this is crazy. Well, I don't know what I would do if this happened. We gotta get out. That bus just got dropped. Damn, that car. It was him. He just lost his boss. If you look over there behind me, that's a, a tornado. It's one of the many tornadoes that are destroying our. That one over there is huge. No way, bruh. No way. Damn, what the hell? What just happened? Bruh, that's insane. It ripped through Los Angeles. All our grid models are working. I don't think grid models are going to be a lot of help here. Australia just saw the strongest typhoon ever recorded. Hang on, are you saying... A typhoon? How, what's the last time you heard of a typhoon? No one has taken into account how much fresh water has been dumped into the ocean. It would explain what's driving this extreme weather. They've asked me to feed it into my paleoclimate model to track the next set of... Them. Damn, so it, they're going to keep going? I think we're on the verge of a major climate shift. He said it's going to get worse. What could get worse than 15 tornadoes in Los Angeles? And a typhoon. Jack, you've been working for 24 hours straight. Call me when you get the results. Bro, there's no telling how long it'd take you to do some type of simulation or whatever they're trying to do. Uh, in two, what was it, 2004, this is? Six to eight months. That can't be. That time scale isn't in months. It's in weeks. Widespread flooding has slowed transportation. Damn. So it's flooding now? Jeez. Where are you staying tonight? Um, they're finding a place for us to stay with kids here. I want you home. Dad, I'll be on the train. All right, son. I'll see you tomorrow. So, yeah, I forgot about the train. I guess that's the only way he can get there. Terrible weather hasn't hit the D.C. area, but local residents aren't taking any... Damn, they're buying water and anything. They don't know what the hell go hit them. <laughs> But we're making all the necessary preparations for this storm. Large-scale evacuations right now. Mr. Vice President, if we don't act now, it's going to be too late. What an ass. Like, who just ignores? Like, who just does that? Thousands of snow started falling across the British Isles and over northern Europe. Now you stay where you are, okay? You'll be fine. Yeah, I love you too. Hi, how's Jeanette? I live in Kentucky, and we, we have bad snowstorms sometimes. And there's only been like like very rarely like a couple of times where I've been like super snowed in to where you can't move and stuff like that. So it's like it's crazy to see like this happen like and like what if it happened like long term? You know what I'm saying? Like I can't do that. Visibility. Maintain the heading and speed. What's our heading? Zero three five. Is that like a storm? Wind speed has dropped to zero. We have vertical board zero. Bloody fuel lines are starting to freeze. <laughs> Bro, they're freezing instantly? <laughs> Come on, you bastard! Bro. Those helicopters froze out the air.
So is that cold? They crashed because the fuel in their lines froze. Negative 150 degrees Fahrenheit. 151 degrees. Negative 151 degrees. Can you help us? Send us what you've got. We'll do our best. This is Scotland at the time the temperature dropped. So it's just like a hurricane. Only hurricanes don't form over land. Yeah, I was gonna say, God, like that, bro, what? That, like, it literally froze that helicopter out of the, like, the air. And then dude opened up the thing, which he shouldn't have, because now his ass was frozen. Here at Grand Central Station, over half the platforms are flooded, with planes still grounded Man. and trains now. So how you gonna get home? No train, no plane. Maybe we should just stay here. Bro, you're not gonna be able to get to the trains, bro. Look, the subway is flooded. The wolves, they're gone. So now you got wild wolves, or they got hurt by something. What are you kidding? Get higher! I can't understand what you're saying. Open the door, bro. That's what you need to do. Bro, the wave is as big as the Statue of Liberty. Holy hell. I feel like water, that much water would knock it over. I don't feel like it would just stay. Tell them to cover their eyes. Attention, les yeux. This is incredible. This is incredible. Oh my god. <laughs> I wonder how they shot this for real, for real. Because this is crazy. It's a lot of water. Oh. Yeah, get her ass back in there. Come on, get the bag and come on. Oh god. Come on! <laughs> Bruh, that's crazy. Like, no way. Like, what do you do? Now, like, New York City's flooded, flooded. Were you able to recreate the thermal cycle? Yes. We've located two other supercells in addition to the one over Scotland. This one storm is going to change the face of our planet. Damn, this is nuts. They're on each. And in seven to ten days. Bro, that's insane. That's insane. Oh. So that's worst case scenario is that it's going to be an ice age. So if New York City freeze, all that water going to freeze. Listen, thanks for coming back. Damn, even he's, okay. Okay, so he wins. Yeah, go ahead and get that. Go ahead and get it. Are you sure about this? I mean, you ain't got no choice. Now's your chance. But that water's cold. It works. Where are you? Are you all right? I'm all right. We're at the public library. Of course. What? Same Damn, he slipped. No way. Storm is just gonna get worse. It's gonna turn into a massive blizzard with an eye in the center of it, just like a huge hurricane. Burn whatever you can to stay warm and try to wait it out. Sam! How's he gonna get there, though? And I guess that's all you can do is just burn whatever you can. <gasps> I thought you drowned. <sighs> Bro, he's probably ice cold. That water is probably ice, ice cold. Frank told me about Sam. You have to explain your results to the administration. I already tried that, Tom. You gotta brief the president directly. Okay, he'll take that. He definitely wants to take that. That briefing the president, get that old vice president, old weepy wobbly ass on out of there. Bro, what, 
That's a ship? This is trippy, low key. But that's nuts, bro. It's flooding like that. There's a boat like going downtown. The superstorm will last seven to ten days. Ice and snow will cover the entire northern hemisphere. With an average temperature closer to that of the last ice age. Bro, so they're gonna, bro. There's no. What do you do? How do you? How do you? How do you? you how do you do that? What exactly are you proposing, Professor? Evacuate everyone. South of that line. What about the people in the north? They go outside. The storm will kill them. Yeah, like it did, old boy, in the, in the boat or in the helicopter. I mean. Hey, Max, there's people out there. There's hundreds of them. They're walking. Up. Where'd they come from? They're survivors. Water's frozen over enough to walk on. We should get going before the snow gets too deep. Everyone. No, I don't feel like you should do it because it's gonna get cold while y'all out there, right? And that's what his dad said. These people go outside, they will freeze to death. My father's a climatologist. He works for the government. Stay inside, we keep warm, and, and we wait it out. Look for a second. Come on, everybody. One Let's second. Let's get going. The storm wow, that's crazy. And they really think they're just going to walk it out. It's uh, unreal. Don't Look at that. And I guarantee you all those people is going to be frozen. Because it's going to get cold. Old boy died as soon as he opened up the helicopter door. I've been watching your back for 20 years. You think I'd let you go alone? Neither one of you knows how to navigate worth a damn. Without me, you'll end up in Cleveland. <laughs> Without me, you'll end up in Cleveland. An hour ago, Mexican officials closed the border in the wake of the approaching storm. These people... They closed the border? <laughs> Thousands of people are crossing the Rio Grande into Mexico. Abandon their cars and they are waiting across the river. Bro, this is crazy. Like mass hysteria for real, for real. Like, that's why I said all them states from the from that line down gotta move. Like it's crazy. You can't burn books. No, absolutely not. I'll go get some more. I'll help you. Yeah, you ain't got no choice. I mean, it's not like he wants to come in here and burn your books, girl. You should go and be home safe, okay? <laughs> damn, man, this is deep. Like, damn, it's like, this is, it's, it's happening to everybody. It's not just like certain people, it's happening to everybody. Man, this storm is everywhere. I mean, I, I don't think your dad's gonna make it. Bro, but what? What do you think you're gonna do? You think you gonna make it out there? Look out! You guys okay? I don't know what he was trying to think he was gonna do, was gonna drive, or what happened, but. That's insane. Like, they're walking in a blizzard. Bro, was that a mall? Jesus. Okay, I think I have to wait now. Like they all gonna slide or he gonna fall. Oh no, the glass. Get that far, bro. You heard somebody was left behind. Hopes. Thank you so much for coming. Hey, are you all right? You look like you have a fever or something. Do you look like you have a fever? Is that what? I mean, I don't. Know. Is that what they say? How am I supposed to adjust to him without anything like that before? It's all been preparation for a future that no longer exists. Yeah, that's true. In this universe, if if. You just gonna have to wait it out for however long, then everything you just worked for was for nothing in that sense. Why I joined the team. I joined it because of you. Oh, shot a shot and got the kiss. Okay, okay. Mr. President. Bruh, he's still at the 
He's still at the White House. Flight control, this is Delta 2-6. We're carrying an urgent message. So it's still snowing even in Mexico? The president's motorcade got caught in the storm. They didn't make it. What? So he just lost the president? She was complaining about a cut on her leg a few days ago. That's blood poisoning. Oh, blood poisoning? So is that what she got from that water in the car? Needs a massive dose of penicillin or a spectrum antibiotic immediately. I mean, what do you do? And then, then these guys are watching from space. This is nuts. How big is this thing? The vortex is 50 miles in diameter. Two cells over Europe and Asia are even bigger. This one's gonna hit New York inside an hour. Okay. So is that like the freeze, like the blizzard freeze? Cause they in a blizzard now, but. Are you all right? Jason! Bro, he might be the only one to make it, bro. Old boy had to cut himself. He looked like he can't make it. Oh, girl, she's sick. There's got to be medicine on that ship. I thought you said it was too dangerous. I'm going with you. Me too. Okay, snow team, but you need to get that medicine for her. Sheesh. <laughs> Bro, those are the wolves that escaped. Oh, God. Okay, he got in. All right, he ain't giving up. He's a soldier. It's all in Russian. I, I know. Penicillin? You know? Because it says penicillin on the back. Hey, he found penicillin. All right, bet. <laughs> Bro, did my man undo the life raft? <laughs> If he beat that dog in the head, I would have beat them dogs ass. It should be over New York by now. A drop of 10 degrees per second. 10 degrees per second? Cuz, what? We gotta get back right now. Let's out of that room. Lock the door. They get the Michael Myers. They Michael Myers. <laughs> Go get out though, bruh. Bruh, this is insane. Damn, he's in the eye. Oh my god, it's freezing shit solid. Y'all got to go. Y'all, this is like last second. Oh my gosh! What's happening? Wow, y'all, this is insane. Damn, they survived. So did that? Did the people in the library survive? His son? Damn. I mean, he warned him, man. He warned all of them. His son warned him, man. Scattered reports that the storm is dissipating over North America. That's a t like a big, huge tanker ship or something. Oh, wow. Damn, that's a lot, bro. I mean, all that turned into snow and ice which was water before. Look at that. That's crazy. He's gonna get there. And I think he can get there now that the storm is gone. He just had to make it through the cold weather. Yeah. 
See, I was gonna say there's a way in though. This is crazy. Damn, he really found them all. That's crazy. Okay, looks like it's warmer there, but like, uh, what about the rest of the world? Like, how long is it gonna take? I bet you, how you not jump and hug him after all this? You feel me? Golly. Oh, wow. That was tons more survivors. That is awesome. Frozen New York City, man. Frozen Gotham. You never seen the air so clear. All right, you guys, welcome back. So that was the day after tomorrow. So I think that was a little bit weird, but at the same time, I like how it's grounded. It's a little bit more realistic than the 2012. Like I said, the 2012 is like apocalyptic. This is not necessarily apocalypse. This is like, at first it gives you that impression, um, but it kind of goes along the lines of like a more realistic story. So you get to see a lot of the damage and stuff kind of, excuse me, in the beginning of the film. Which I didn't really have necessarily a necessary problem with, but um, I think seeing a film like this just makes your mind wonder like like crazy. Like, man, like like I didn't know it was gonna be like global warming, but I've heard stories of global warming. So I guess it was dope that they did a story on this or used this kind of as the base of their story, a piece of their story. Um, I think Dennis Quaid did a good job. I mean, it really wasn't like high level, but at the same time, like for what this movie I guess needed to do, it did for me. Like, it just kind of put me in the realm of thinking, like, bro, what if this really happened? You know what I'm saying? Like, the natural stuff, the gases like that, that might be something totally different from the environment and stuff like that, like, you know, eco-friendly and stuff like that. But, like, as far as, like, like climates shifting and all that crazy stuff, that's nuts. Like, that's that's insane. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you all let me know down in the comments how you all feel about the day after tomorrow. Um... I might try to get White Gold on here to see if she's seen 2012. So, like, maybe we could do, like, a comparison. Because I don't think she's seen that one, but she, I, but she's seen this. So, this was my first time watching. So, maybe I can get her to get her first time watching. You feel me? So, uh, I thought this was pretty good. I don't think it's, like, the greatest thing ever. But I thought it was pretty good. Like, this had to be, like, the first of its kind. Like, they need to do some more stuff like this now. Um, I would like to see, like, you know, kind of what the special effects and stuff could be on. And I bet you these movies don't really get, like, a huge budget. Um, but like just for what it was worth, you know, I think it was pretty good. The story of like Jake Gyllenhaal probably had the best acting job out of the entire movie. Um, but I think the best part for me was being entertained by seeing the climate shift and how bad it was really going to get. Um, that like, and that's why I was saying like 2012 was like apocalyptic worst case scenario. There's like the planet explodes. Like I thought the planet was going to explode <laughs> in this movie, but like, nah, it's just going to like, like basically be an ice age, which was crazy. So. Um, I enjoyed it. I give it like a, I probably give it like a 7.5 out of 10. It, it, and White Gold, she recommended it. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. So, um, you all let me know down in the comments how y'all feel about the day after tomorrow. All right. So before I get out of here, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up. Make sure you guys leave a like. And if you're new here to the channel, make sure you guys hit and subscribe and tap that notification bell. So when we are, I do a video just like this, you all will get it first. All right. So again, make sure you all are staying tuned to the channel because we got more content on the way. All right. I'm Fireworks, and this is Snoopers Gonna Snoop YouTube channel. And I'm out.